Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're going after them there. What is above this bonfire? The Deacons of the Deep. We don't need to worry about the NPC. Uh, actually, I will quickly clear up this tower. I don't remember if there's anything here, but we'll have a little look. Let's just pull that back up. Was there not an item up here? stand where I was before. Oh, do you have to get off half? Ah, no, never mind. Hang on. Or is this the way you get up to the tallest point of the roof to get to the the patches stuff? Hello, Deacon. But he wasn't deep. No, never mind. He totally was because he dropped the deep ring. What does that even do again? The deep ring allows attunement of additional spells, plus one spell slot. So if I go over there to do that stuff, it's filled with those giant knights who are annoyingly tough, and those guys. But uh, the giant is alive though, so we could do the patches stuff. Although you can still do the patches stuff even if the giant's dead, he just gets very cross with you, doesn't he? What? <laughs> So, oi, who killed the, dra uh, the dragon? The giant. That was my business partner. Also, Patches is from a farm. Nothing here. I'm doing a pyromancy build, as voted for by the chat. I thought I heard a little scurry. Now, I'm not up here for any items, I just want to get to where Patches is. I believe you have to drop down on that platform there, right? Oh boy, I hope this is right. Ow. Oh crap. Ah. Uh, Oh, crap again. <laughs> Pardon me. Just got to real quick pull this. Pardon me, gents. Got to go look at the freaky dead baby. This room is cool, so I wish I'd found it naturally on my blame playthrough. Because it's creepy as hell. It's very bloodborne. Hell, it may have been an unused room from Bloodborne. Hello, freaky dead baby fetus thing. So I need to join Rosaria if I want to respec, but right now I'm still trying to make the pyro thing work. This is the far side of... Oh yeah, he's on the other side, isn't he? Because he's... I don't know if he is a Rosaria's finger or if he's working... Well... He, he beats... He, what's that expression about beating a drum? He marches to the sound of his own drum. Is that the one? That's the one I'm thinking of. He's on nobody's side except his own. Well, the fact it didn't drop halfway across probably implies he isn't here, yeah. Because he's usually standing there pretending to be on Unite and it's wonderful. Oh, hello. I'm the Onion Man. That's me. That's the front door open, not that I'll ever use it, probably. Because I don't feel like this is the fastest run back to the boss. There's no good run back to the Deacons. But it's partially okay because... Contraption does not move. 
because it's not that hard a fight. It's just... Well, if you're not using a long weapon, which I'm not, it can be annoying. How the hell am I getting down there, then, if I can't activate the lift? Because I'll die if I drop from this height. Pull that switch and then ride it down, maybe? But then I wouldn't have access to this bridge again. Patches! I need patches here. Hmm. Uh, I guess just homeward bone to the thing and go from the main cathedral again. That's annoying, though. Just jump, I'll die. I'm going to pull the switch and write it down. You look silly. That's coming from a character that looks like this. Like what, you ask? Oh, like this. When did the camera change orientation so I can no longer... There we go. I can no longer see my own character's eyes half the time. He's got beautiful eyes. They're his best feature. Drang like set is that set. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't like that that's become a thing. Is that an item up there? You missed. <clears throat> what are you supposed to use Fabulous for? When you're being fabulous, obviously. can actually get a pretty wide swing, even with the hacks. The hacks. The axe, even if you're using a tiny thing like this, thanks to the two-handed reach. <laughs> can you see that lock on? Let me swing one more time. There, Christ. Is the actual deacon here now? Yes, he is. Oh. Wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> Wait, did he actually get that cast off? I've never seen him do it. Please, I'd like to be able to move. Well. Oh, come on. It's taking much less damage than the others. Waste of time fight. Get out of the way. Well, I've done that fight with Soul Grey Sword and the Abyss Watcher Sword. They're both very good for it. As I say, I'm using the wrong weapon for it. It's got a terrible run back.
Using resin in the second phase would make much difference. My fireballs would hit multiple of them, but not fast enough. And the flamethrower thingy doesn't do enough damage. necessarily a bad thing that I went into a big one because the less of them there is the easier. That moved without me hitting it there. I'm trying to keep their numbers down. All fat ones. No offense. Wait, that one's healing. I've never seen that. Still one healing him somewhere. Thank goodness for that. Terrible fight. It's not even a fight. Alright, now if we go back to Firelink, Henri should be there. And we have to exhaust our dialogue, and then we have to meet her in the catacombs. It's much easier if you have a long reach weapon. Or a long reach spell. Very they were doing stuff there I've never seen them do because I never use short weapons usually. Ah, we're very close to that level, hang on. Farewell, Ash Me. <laughs> Sounded like she was trying to say Ash Maiden. Does this look like a lady to you? What is the strength requirement for that sword again? 24, so yeah, we do still need two well, more. Very well, if I get Big Hat, you won't be able to see my face. And that might be your plan, but I refuse to do it. Farewell, Ash he, she did it again, she called me an Ash Maiden. Right, is Henri here? Yes, so, so far so good. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Henri of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. I know, I was just there. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fable. The best-looking area in any of the Souls games, but also one of the worst to go through. The city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldrich
Butcher's honest home is in yeah, okay. the top and soon. That's repeating now, yep. Just want to be absolutely sure. Burr. 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 Do you have hooves for hands? Oh, you actually do, don't you? Oh, wait, no, they're, they're little bracer things. But doesn't they look like hooves from that angle? You weirdo. Do you talk to me yet? Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. For one, <clears throat> that you are most gentle of heart. Yeah, with a face like this, you have to be. I, too, am bound by duty, but can offer you my sign. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to embers. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. I've got your moon right here. So now it is the Abyss Watchers, whom I am not very good at fighting. And for the Abyss Watchers, we are going from... Farnke Perimeter? Question mark? <coughs> Wait, I had a summon sign? I'm offline. Who the hell is Londor Pale Shade? Oh, Londor, so it's an evil person. No wonder I've never seen them before. Alright, sure. Londor Pale Shade, huh? Oh, I didn't forget Onion. If I didn't do Patch's quest, then Onion might never get stuck down the well. You've got the Dark Hand and a weird looking sword. I can do that too. There you go. Oh. And for doing that, I got another remote. Okay. Is that the person I'm marrying for the usurper ending? How good are you at fighting Dark Wraiths, who really should be praising my very existence, but whatever. I'd rather I not waste the summons NPC, NPC, HP by getting them fighting Dark Wraiths. Hey, you please tell me you're following me. What the? Where is she? She's not fighting the Dark Wraiths, thankfully. Get out of here, scum. If I enter the boss fight, she'll have to enter, right? Or will she get stuck? Crap, maybe she got stuck in the door frame. She's still alive. She's not losing health. You dumbass. <laughs> stuck on the door. There's not many left alive now, thanks to her delaying me. I hope she's still alive. Oh, she uses dark magic. I'm good at <coughs> Look, it's Captain Bloodbar. all over the shop. It's enough to make a man sick. Skid attack. Oh, no skid attack. I thought they always started with the skid attack. Do your magic spell, please. Yeah, that attack. But if this was Bloodborne, I could have got a crap ton of HP back there. Oh, 
Oh. I don't know how much HP the summon had left. Probably should have put some kind of resin on my bar for this. Bleed, maybe? Oh, you know what? I could have done the um, flash sweat. Because he's. Uh, presumably he does fire now that he burns all over the place. So part of his damage is fire damage. Thank you, Jim Bob Certain, for 19 months in a row subscription. Welcome back. The music is very loud, so I feel the need to talk loudly. He starts over away from me, right? He won't still be next to me. Yeah. I think I have time to. Oh, I do have a resin on my bar. I bet it's fire, though. It's like fighting, what's her name of the clock tower, getting hit from attacks that have missed you. Are you a Taurus? Yes, the answer is yes, yes, yes. But he's a wannabe. God damn, having a short weapon. I need to get a longer weapon ASAP because the, the judging distance is terrible. Stop, he's already dead. You're a handy summon, though. Because you use a fire and forget spell and then keep on attacking, which is a very nice little perk. Try tentacles? Why, is that what Artorius is weak to? Guess that makes sense if you think about it. So the next step for the usurp ending is we need to find Henri in the catacombs and tell her that we don't know where Horus is, and then I have to go kill Horus, which will be the hard part. Welcome, very then taken up. So that is our strength, and now we need to I've got one level for killing it. Christ, it's so slow. Oh, well, I... Wait, isn't this your arm seat? Yep, wrong seat. This is the Abyss Watchers. The swords are dead giveaway. I'm gonna go see if that lady has any more dialogue, the new NPC. Now that I've taken out one of the lords. Speak thy desire, honorable lord of hollows. Oh, good hollow. I'm afraid <coughs> I must <must've> say. <coughs> Orbeck of Vinheim is a cause of much consternation. Oh, you don't like the sorcerer NPC, huh? He proclaimeth himself Lord of Hollows. Wait, really? If left alone, he may one day imperil <clears throat> thy rule. Fall to this matter yearly, else we are unraveled. Decisiveness is the mark of a true... Is she telling me to murder the sorcerer NPC? Orbeck of Vinheim. Because that's Orbeck, isn't it? <clears throat> Till we meet again, may the dark... So he has aspirations to be the Lord of Hollows. I'm not going to kill him unless he comes at me. You could also be lying just to get you to kill your NPCs. Well, very well, then hey. Farewell, I should. 
going to do with this leftover soul, which is titanite, I guess. Or embers, but no, I can't even afford an ember, so titanite will do. Ashen one, blue. Ashen one, blue. Could actually use seek guidance. Alright, so we want to go from the Abyss Watchers. We don't have much time left before swap over, so ideally I just want to talk to Henri, get to the first bonfire here, and then that's probably a good stopping point. Yeah, 14 minutes matches up pretty well. He's scary. He's... Oh, there's a paramount tome over here. I've suddenly remembered it's the bit where you drop down and there's a secret wall. I see you got back up. Like some kind of horrible skeleton. Look at the aggro range of him. I'm still trying to lock onto him. Still trying to lock onto him. There we go, that's a good start. We may actually start making this a pyromancy run if it's good spells that it gives me access to. I've forgotten what's through here. Ugh, it's the one that throws the throwing knives at you, isn't it? They're the worst. Don't aggro me. Don't remember what's over here. Is this where I want to be? Yeah, it is. Because I just want to get straight to Henri, and I think she's like directly across. There's so many skeletons. And they won't stay dead. And they keep on wanting to parry you, which is just annoying. Ah, it's one of the big ones down there. Stealth mission successful? Nope. Hey Henri, I'd like to have a conversation with you, assuming I'm not being followed. Look at these skeletons propping up this pillar. hit me in the shield, therefore did no damage. Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Just cleaning my beak, nothing to see here. Have you seen my companion, Horace? To my shame, I was snared by a trap and we've become... Yeah, I've got an arrow through my shoulder. How about some I compassion for me? No. Yes, I see. Hey, I'm not lying. I haven't seen him yet. Horace is a valiant knight. He can look after himself. No I'm question. a violent, <laughs> violent knight. He's probably searching for me right now. Oh, look, one of my eyeballs is trying to escape world. from the skin that's crusted over it. 
If you happen upon him, please tell him that I remain in the catacombs. Catacombs. I will lay prison Not stones coons. to guide him, as always. Please send him my word. I beg of you. Yeah, no. May the flames guide your way. Now then, how do I safely get down from... Can I knock safely? Oh, you have to take the... The bit where the ball comes after you. Where the hell did all these skeletons come from? Dodge Master. Oh no, you were supposed to wait at the start. See you now. He just got crushed by his own magic ball. And now we wait for my item. Right? Yeah, here it comes. Thank you. There's what I'm after. Still gotta get there though. Hello, Trivet. Any of you gang up? Probably all of you. Two out of three ain't bad. Ghost grenades. That's a ring through there, right? Yeah, I really don't want to have to fight you. He's getting back up. Nuts to just go for the bonfire. Oh wait, but all the enemies are going to be here though. Nice hit detection. I thought the ball was already there. It is. I was against the wall. Screw you. Light the bonfire. Fine, I'll just kill you again. Get out of here. Piece of shit. Alright, now to go back and hand in that tome and hopefully buy an actual spell that's good. Watch it cost two, so I have to get rid of flame sweat without ever using it. That's the ring it was, yeah, fog ring. The plus two decks and makes you have those stealth rolls. I remember now. Whoop. Uh, I... <laughs> Give you for this. Well, well. I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tome. Is from the catacombs. Catacombs. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. <laughs> so now, great combustion sucks. Acid surge, flash sweat. The flame arc, I guess. Damage increases with consecutive attacks. Does that have a downside? Oh, yeah, two slots. Hmm. Uh, I guess aiming for Karthus Flame Art could be the best one then. I was kind of hoping for normal fireball. Or great fireball, sorry, not normal fireball. No large Titanite. Alright, well, I think we'll. 
coal out there. I'll just hold on to the souls I have. Hopefully we'll get enough to buy Karthus Flame Arc and equip that. And then at least we'll have constant fire damage on our axe. So it'll feel like we're doing something pyromancy-ish. Once we get down to the area below the catacombs with the, the fire worm, I can get the better proper pyromances. But then we're going to need to level attunement. And that's a problem in and of itself. Which is annoying. But we'll see what happens next time. For the people watching After the Fat on YouTube, hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Ta-ta for now.